wanted me to play and he was kind of leaning towards that he was like he was kind of like uh the i don't even know how to explain it but like the boss would kind of take him in the back and have his way with him and i was like uh <laughs> no nah, i don't want to play that role no, you no, know no, what no, i mean no. he was like no but the fans will like it they'll see you took a chance and i'm like no nah, i don't think i want to nah, take that nah, chance we don't need those type of <laughs> you know what i mean so, <laughs> I got you. you know what i mean that that was kind of one of the weirdest pitches that some dude gave me and it was like no nah, i'm not seeing your angle on that you know what no, I mean? no, but, no. I got Sean Nelson <laughs> in the building. It's the Sunday sit down. Shemaine, man, I'm easy. I, I, I tend to ask actors what got them into it. Was it, was it a bug? But you you just told yeah, me that yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like it was kind of just fell into yeah. it, and then once I started doing it, I just developed this love, you know, for performing. Even doing a lot of theater is just that vibe that you get when you're on stage. Like they're with you, they're feeling you, they're laughing at your jokes, and you know they can feel your emotions. And I mean, it's different when you're doing television and, and movies, but it reaches a broader audience. So, like I I, I love it both. But right now mm -hmm. I'm doing mostly movies and television. Yeah. You know? Tell me more about this production stuff that you're into. Well, the um, movie you said that's coming out soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's called this. The Breaking Point, and um, uh, I, I'm really just mainly the producer on it, um, was definitely involved in the creation of the project, and, uh, you know, it's about this guy who is kind of caught up in the situation where he's being blamed for a murder he didn't commit, and he's not really trying to, you know, put who, who actually did it on blast, but he's got to clear his name, mm -hmm. so it's basically him and other characters being pushed to their breaking point, you know, and, uh, yes. you know, just trying to everybody's trying to figure it out kind of sort of but you know uh that was our first effort and um i'm working with a young crew um a lot of cats that went to the school out in uh florida uh it's full sale they uh, you know it's a film school music school and uh you know a lot of the film cats came out of there and they're you know on my crew so we got a lot of young people that are doing their thing like i'm really uh uh i really am surprised with the quality of work that came out with these guys, you know, like really? they 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 really did a good job behind the scenes okay. and they're shooting it in. Uh, How long just, did it take to shoot and put together? Well, I know that's got to be a, a hell of a. Yeah, process. I mean, it was some some hiccups here and there, and, you know, just getting the money and you know getting the actors. You got to get Kickstarter for that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> people are, people are wanting to give money away. Yeah, definitely, yo. Next one, we got to definitely get that Kickstarter <laughs> popping. You know but uh, you know, just get people to believe in the project too, and. uh believed in this in the the crew which is like there's not really that many names in it too i'm not i'm not even uh i ha i play a small role in it but the leads are really unknowns you okay. know we got them they're actors from florida orlando florida and you know we gave these guys a chance and you know everybody just kind of put in their a game man it was like okay you know let's do it i had the stokeleys up here uh a little while ago and they said that acting is getting watered down because people mm -hmm. are getting are, are getting roles just to be themselves, are getting mm. jobs just to be themselves, like the reality stars. And yeah. That was another thing they had a re yeah. re real big problem with, was reality TV watering down actors. How? Yeah. Any comments well, on that? I don't know if it's really watering down actors, but I mean, it's, it's probably uh, taking up time slots for, you know, uh, drama, uh, a scripted TV, you know, oh. where it's a lot of it is these reality TV shows. And I mean, I mean, it, it, if people weren't watching it, then it wouldn't be there. But, you know, the people, that's what people want. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's a demand. So that's what the these uh, companies are going to put out there. And, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really watch that much reality TV. I don't watch too much TV <laughs> at all myself. But, you know, I mean. Like you busy out here getting these checks, I, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, I know, I I'm know. trying, yo. I'm trying. You I know, know. I mean, you got to eat. I like, know. I got that. Uh, the, I got doing commercials now. So I got the AT&T commercial going on right now. So that's been I'm running for a minute. That. Have I seen that commercial? I, I just saw it for the first time probably about two weeks ago, but they've been playing it for like six months. Okay, so now here's the next question. <laughs> how, how did you feel the first time you watched yourself back on TV or film or whatever? Oh, it was dope. That was, I would have to say, yeah, that was the um, here and now thing. It was just all oh, like, wow, I'm that's, really, that's yeah. me. You know, letting <laughs> everybody in school know, did you see that? You saw me doing that thing? And you know, a lot of cats are like, man, you ain't, you still ain't nothing, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hate it. Hate but that's that's the way it is, man. Absolutely. But people appreciated it, and you know, um, I, I I get a lot of support, and I can't be mad at that. Got you, got you. So besides the movie, what else is on the horizons for Sean? Well, just trying to see what's next, man. I mean, you know, uh, had some things bubbling this year. Did a did a couple episodes of these different TV show TV shows. Uh, I have a rolling Hulu series, Deadbeat. 
which I played. I started to watch that yesterday, as a matter of okay, fact. Okay, yeah, I'm in the second season. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm playing an actor. <laughs> I'm playing an, an actor. actor. like a, a detective in the show, within the show. So I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. You know, <laughs> something like that. It's a little confusing, yeah, but I got you. Yeah, and then I got, um, you know, I did an episode of, uh, uh, what is it? Um, elementary... Uh, the Good Wife, you know, the commercial, just trying to see what's next, you know, trying to always step it up and looking for that next role that's going to compete with the wood, the fresh, gotcha. you know, All right, corner. So, so now that, that brings me to my next question. Yeah. For someone like you that's been doing it for so long, what's what drives you? What's the passion still to go on besides the money? I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Besides it the was money. never about the money, you know, it was, it was just... The, the joy of doing it but now that I'm older I got bills to pay yeah, so yeah, yeah you know you, you need that bread but you know you 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 want to do good work and you just want to keep getting better like I want to surpass what I did before and you got it's it's all about finding those right projects and for me it's um it's all about growing too because I you know I grew up in this industry so now it's like showing people that I don't have to play like the little kid anymore I'm a grown man now mm -hmm. I don't have to play you know the kid on the block. I don't have to play, you know, the kid in the bad situation. You know, I could play that cop. I could play that lawyer, that doctor, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. and just being able to switch it up, you know, and make gotcha. it real and, and believable. That's that's the challenge for me. Like, that's what I want to do. Mm. And tell, like, uh, I really want to do some of these, um, you know, like, biopics and stuff like that. You know, that would be dope. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get him to play me in a movie, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, My yeah. My biopic, you're going to play me. Absolutely. <laughs> It's the easy story. <laughs> Anyways, so Sunday sit down, Power with the Five, what is your main man, M. Easy, Sean Nelson in the building. Yes, um, thank you for coming by, man. Nah, I appreciate it. I'm thank not going to tell a story yeah. nah, of don't. how we met. Because <laughs> that's, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we wasn't supposed to you know talk saying? about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's my guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forever I have something on him, he has something on me. Yeah, well, All right? It's my guy. Yo, I wasn't supposed to be there. That's you and me both, man. man. <laughs> you don't even talk about it. Listen, Sean Nelson in the building. Give me an Instagram and Twitter so they can get in contact with you. Yeah, I mean, mostly everything. I'm not on Twitter. I'm on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. It's just Sean Nelson. You know, S-E-A-N-N-E-L-S-O-N. S-E-A-N-N-E-L-S-O-N. <laughs> Sean Nelson, you know? I uh, mean, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming by, man. Appreciate and, it, man. And I will be checking out this, the, the Breaking Point movie. Yeah, I think that sounds it out, like you know? something I want to see. It, it, it's, it's a cool joint, you know, uh, and hopefully we're going to come harder with each one after, you know? Yeah, we got to stay in contact, man, because that, that that first time we did <laughs> yeah, the event, that was an official scene. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sean Nelson, that means it. Power on the five one. Thank you for coming by, man. Got you, man. Another example of how easy does it.